Yo, what is going on streamers and content creators? Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a rotating social media banner with tons of custom ability options. You can have it fade in, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff, even get your own style. This is all completely free and done on the browser. No downloads required for any kind of applications. Now, I was inspired by this guy named Streamstrat or Ben. He used to work for Twitch and he taught me this tutorial. It just takes about five to 10 minutes. If you don't know what you're doing, maybe a little longer, but it's super simple, very straightforward, and like I said, completely free. Every single link you need for this will be in the description. I strongly advise you use the links. They're quicker. They already have the search results looked up. All right, guys, we're headed over to the PC side of things now, and you guys can see that I actually already have it applied right here for free. So you're, when you actually click on this link, it'll be social media icon banners. You want to go to free so we don't have to pay for any of these. And then you want to scroll through and find the one that you actually like that you're vibing with. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I find one that I like. So once you've found one that you like, you want to make sure that the file type is EPS. Very, very important because that is the one we're going to be editing. So you just want to go ahead and click download and then attribute uh attribute i think that's attribution <laughs> required but whatever man you know what uh you know i'm a youtuber i'm not an english major so sometimes we struggle out here anyway free download we're gonna just go ahead and click that and you will see that it starts to download this folder right here now once i click on this you will see that there is a couple things in the folder but we only really need this eps file so i'm actually going to go ahead and just drag that onto my desktop you will see that i already did this uh you know before i made this tutorial but we're just going to go ahead and hit replace and we're good to go on this website so like i said that is all you need so now you want to go ahead to the fix the photo link that is also in the description for you and you're going to see a page that looks exactly like this you want to hit open from computer and then you want to go ahead and go to your desktop and you want to find that EPS file so once you found that EPS file it will actually load in now these next steps are super crucial so make sure you guys pay close attention double clicking on the text you can change it to what you need so I'm gonna change mine to like my personal Instagram and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete uh, this bottom part also guys in case you don't see these uh, layers all here there should be a button on the side of the screen that you can actually press to pull up the layers it is very very important because this background right here you're actually going to need to delete that so you have these as different objects you can tell that there's nothing surrounding these now and that they are own separate entities we're gonna get into that a little bit later all right and also so let's say you didn't want to actually have the Twitter icon you can actually just go ahead and also delete that you can really delete anything that you don't really plan on using here so I actually am just gonna go through and actually start to delete some of the stuff that I do not plan on using I think I'm actually gonna stick with just these three so now you can actually see if I hit these uh, eye icons you can actually see that these are now three separate things you can see that these have three separate folders what you want to do now is right click on them and hit convert to smart object this is a crucial step if you do not do this you will not be able to actually have these become separate images so convert them to smart objects okay once you see they look like this you want to go up to file and then you want to go to uh, export layers now again this one right here is you have to untick this see how it says zero exportable layers okay you need to untick this top one only layers folders whose name starts with this you need to untick that now it says you have three separate layers and there's obviously three things right here so you know that you have done it right go ahead and hit export layers now this is mine right here assets five now you need to actually unzip it so sometimes it'll say that there are no files in there you need to get something like WinRAR again this is completely free I will drop a link to WinRAR in the description for you guys but you can see that I now have three images let me go ahead and drag them on the desktop and show you what we're dealing with here so crazy enough here you guys go you got my three icons here as separate images the final step very very straightforward as well again link will be in the description for you guys but you want to go to the sponsor banner settings okay so you want to go to your streamlabs dashboard and look up sponsor banner settings right here I'll look it up again in the search bar for you guys and you guys will be brought here you will see this is my current icon cycling uh, thing that I have for my social media already now I'm just gonna add mine in already because I don't want to delete the ones I currently have but all you have to do is scroll down and hit add image and then you want to go ahead and hit this box right here with the dotted lines select an image from your computer go to your uploads drag and upload one and you just want to go ahead and upload the three that you just did so there you guys have it there are the three in here and just to show you that it works let me go ahead and select this and add it in to the grouping and you know what we're just gonna wait for it to cycle and we're gonna see if it's there all right it should be coming up after this one I believe let's just see 
there you guys have it right there. Brady Rupert on the cycle, perfectly there for you. Feel free to customize and add them at your will. But I hope you guys did find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. This was super helpful for me. Again, tons of custom ability options if you just look at the sponsor uh, settings. So I hope you guys found that pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I believe I covered everything I needed to cover. Like I said, any questions, feel free to reach out to me on any of my socials. And I will literally personally call you and talk to you and walk you through it, man. I'm here to help you guys. That's, that's, that's my job, all right? But make sure you guys subscribe to stick around and like the video if you did find this helpful. In that case, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!